सब्सक्राइब कीजिए हमारे चैनल सूरज के क्लासेस को एंड बेल आइकन पे क्लिक करना ना भूलिए हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सूरज के क्लासेस सो टुडे फ्रेंड्स वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द एंशियंट हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडिया सो मेनली इफ आई टेल यू दैट द एंशियंट हिस्ट्री और द एंटायर हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडिया इन हाउ मेनी पार्ट्स इट कैन बी डिवाइडेड सो इट कैन बी डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री पार्ट्स फ्रेंड्स फर्स्ट वन इज एंशियंट इंडिया सेकेंड वन इज द मेडाइवल इंडिया एंड थर्ड पार्ट दैट इज द मॉडर्न इंडिया एंशियंट इंडिया एंशियंट इंडियन हिस्ट्री दैट इज फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड बी सी टू सेवन सेंचुरी ए डी and if we uh, see the time duration of the medieval india that is from 7th century ad to 1707 ad okay so uh, now the last one last part of the history modern india history that is from 1707 ad to the 1947 ad so this is uh, how the history of indian history can be divided into three parts now today in this video what we are going to discuss is that we are uh, we uh, we would like to cover up the topic related to harappan civilization it, it is actually the part of ancient history or we can say the first part of ancient history which covers the time duration from 2350 bc to the <coughs> 1750 BC. So this is the time duration of uh, ancient, ancient history, mainly of Harappan civilization, or we can call it Indus Valley civilization. Now, as the name depicts that Indus Valley civilization or the Harappan civilization. Now, how this how this comes up? Okay. So uh, Harappan. सिविलाइजेशन और इंदस वैली सिविलाइजेशन हाउ दिस ने हाउ वी नेम दिस सो हरप्पन सिविलाइजेशन केम फ्रॉम दी हरप्प सिटी विच इज फाउंड इन 1921 बाय द टीम ऑफ दयाराम साहिनी फ्रॉम दिस दी सिविलाइजेशन नेम्ड आफ्टर दिस सिटी इट इज कॉल्ड हरप्पन सिविलाइजेशन एंड नाउ इट मस्ट बी अ क्वेश्चन देन व्हाई इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज इंदस वैली सिविलाइजेशन so the reason behind why behind calling it in the sweli civilization is very simple is that the most of the cities most of the cities of this uh, in this age or harappan civilization is uh, were found nearby or beside the indus river that is why this civilization is also called as indus valley civilization so today do is that i would like to cover up some important points or one line statements which can help you in competitive exams so most of the times you may come across many questions related to ancient history and uh, uh, especially uh, from the part of this harappan civilization so you would find encounter many questions so out of those questions i have tried to enlist some of the important questions just for you so i would tell you those only today so see firstly the first point or the first question which is mostly asked in exam is that in which city most efficient drainage system was found so your answer will be mohenjodaro in mohenjodaro city the most efficient drainage system was found the second question that may be asked is that in which city no drainage system was found so your answer will be kalibangan kalibangan there was no drainage system found and it may also be asked in like indirect way that uh, did they used iron in their in their time or in their era so iron was not used friend in the harappan valley civilization or the uh, uh, sorry harappan civilization or the indus valley civilization and it can also be asked that harappa harappa harappan civilization or indus valley civilization also known as which civilization so it is also known as bronze age civilization it is also known as bronze age civilization uh, one more question can be asked it uh, uh, can be asked like in which city a kitchen was found within the house so the city name is mohenjodaro and uh, raised platform so if the raised platform were there then what to call i mean what they used to call the raised platforms so the answer is sita dam it may also be asked like harappa was found uh, who found the harappa civilization or who found this harappa city so the answer is very easy 
the answer is dayaram sahini in 1921 now this is the uh, i mean these are some important question that can come into the exams and you can easily answer them now now <clears throat> for the sake of clarity i would also like to take you to the ancient time of the harappan civilization where, where we would uh, where i would tell you that what exactly this harappan civilization was and uh, what was their unique features what was the religion what was the economy trading uh, so these all points i would like to say but whenever you are uh, i mean whenever you are preparing for this ancient time especially in harappan civilization then i would tell you that four cities name which are important from the exams point of view first city is harappan city okay second one that is mohenjodaro third one that is lothal and the fourth city name that is the last city the last city which i would tell you dholevira dholevira was discovered in 1992 by jp joshi so these were the four cities which were found during i mean which were discovered uh, i mean which were discovered uh, and uh, having some you know significance of that stone age or you can say having some significance of that age bronze civilization now let's talk about some unique features of this cities actually friend i would say from my opinion that this civilization or these people uh, i mean they were like smart they were genius i mean uh, uh, today what we see that we see the better town planning we see the uh, smart city structure everything similar to today was present at that time because at that time friends the, one of the unique feature of this civilization is that they had better town planning and uh, uh, the city structure was in like chess form chess board form the city entire city structure was in chess board form some houses are there better drainage system is already there and uh, the city is well planned so it was uh, i mean it is the uh, most uh, most excellent feature of the cities found of the of that civilization and uh, now the city was divided into two parts eastern part and western part the eastern part was known as lower town and the upper town was that western part so right now right today you see the in uh, many cities there are uh, there is one you know uh, uh, grown city at that part like we see like we say that in that part of the city you would find you know rich people and um, that part of city is kind of you know improved and very advanced to one with comparing to this part of the city so same thing was uh, present there in in this very civilization it's been like you know how many years back you see the people are structuring the entire city reforming like this so this is uh, those people were genius i think and uh, if we talk about the drainage system then as i already mentioned that the most efficient drainage was found in mohenjodaro and no drainage was found in uh, kalibangan and uh, apart from this one kitchen was found within the house and that is in mohenjodaro one kitchen was found within the house so uh, at that time the people used to use the kitchen in their house so uh, the, those people were advanced uh, i we can call them advanced people and uh, all security arrangements uh, were also found in the cities so uh, it's excellent and uh, uh, if we see the religion so some uh, uh, some evidences uh, are found like uh, they used to worship tree and earth and as well as one proto shiva one statue is also found one proto shiva statue or proto lord shiva statue is found there that means the statue that resembles that resembles to the shiva it cannot uh, uh, you know it cannot uh, say it like absolutely uh, it's a, it's a lord shiva statue but it it is similar something similar to lord shiva so it is believed by many historians like 
they used to watch the plot see why at that time the religion was there and uh, uh, if we talk about religion so they were dependent on agriculture and uh, they used to produce wheat barley rice and peas so that was the agriculture uh, 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 that was the part of economy and uh, if we see the trade so both type of trade systems were present land route as well as oceanic route land route the trading post was srotughai in afghanistan and if you see the ocean route that was found in lothal in gujarat in india so this was the trading system but a uh, very interesting thing is that there was uh, no social or political system was found so uh, i mean uh, these many years back so it is believed that they had no social or political system so maybe the equality or something like that was there so this is all about the so this is uh, i hope uh, I, i actually i have tried to cover the important points only otherwise uh, you know this uh, harappan civilization lecture can uh, go on for one hour or two hour or more than that but so from the point of view of government exams and any competitive exam these points i believe are enough to answer any question uh, asked in your paper so i have tried to cover the important points only today and apart from this if you feel that there is something missing or there is something which could be added up so please try to mention in the comment box so that uh, we can act on it and we can also give you the decent uh, reply and we can help you out in that way so thank you so much for your time friends and uh, uh, um, if you like this kind of videos then please do subscribe to our channel suraj ke classes because we always bring these kind of videos for you so lastly goodbye to you jai hind vande mataram